Such a beautiful week this has been, Sean. Uh, the sun is shining, blue skies, nice breeze, and the beaches are open. So if you're following social distancing guidelines, you can go out and enjoy the water. Have you? Yeah, uh, some folks uh, kind of, am I? Absolutely. But some of those folks are kind of bending the rules a little bit. And you remember what happened about four or five weeks ago up in Carlsbad when everyone was like hanging out at the beach? They told us that they're going to see how we behave. So let's keep that social distancing so we can enjoy the coastline because we do have some surf actually heading our way. As far as what we're looking at in the mountains and deserts, the mountains are cooling down a little bit, but the desert's still very hot. We have an excessive heat warning that is through Thursday. So we will continue to stay hot out there tomorrow and on into Thursday because this excessive heat warning lasts through Thursday night at 9 p.m. We will definitely see some cooling as a weak area of low pressure moves through the area. And as you look at this daytime high across the county, we're in the upper 60s, low 70s coastal on the beaches, as it were. Once you got off the beaches, mid 70s, 74 downtown, that's still uh, six degrees above our average, which is 68 for this time of year. But once you get into the inland areas, you quickly move into the mid 80s. That'll be the case again tomorrow. And of course, the desert's hot at 102. That's the excessive heat warning. Downtown, we've cooled off to 67 degrees. And west and northwest are the winds light at five miles per hour. And that's good because that'll keep the atmosphere mixing so we won't see any fog develop. Here's a look at the water vapor loop and you can see moisture streaming up from the south but we do have some very dense clouds sitting over Southern California that burn off very quickly as the high pressure is the dominant feature. We did see those clouds stick along the coastline a little bit longer than most people would have liked to have seen. It took all the way to the afternoon until we saw some clearing. Now there's a look at the air mass at the 500 millibar level and we'll put that into motion. Notice how the high pressure starts to shift out of our region and we start to see a little kink there in the airflow. That's a weak area of low pressure moving through the region and that will cool things down and then we go to a zonal flow which is much more moderate and will keep things more mild here. Two to three feet with an occasional bigger set, but the water temperature is very nice at 65. And by the time we get into Friday, it looks like a swell starting to build. As we make our way towards the weekend, not a lot of changes along the coastline, but it's more so in the mountains and deserts where those temperatures will cool down as the onshore flow keeps the coastal and inland areas mild for this time of year. We'll take a look at some of that uh, bioluminescence that has been hitting our coastline coming up in the second half hour. Such a treat. It's so beautiful to see that water ir radiate with those beautiful colors. Yes. Very nice. Bye, Sean.